dear students until yesterday we have discussed the topic scalar triple product of vectors now we are in the topic of scalar triple product of vectors we are handling the bits in level 3 in the topic of scalar triple product of vectors level 3 we have discussed 14 sums now let us continue from 15th question if 1 by 1 by x minus 11 into x minus 12 into x minus 13 is equal to a by a by x minus 11 plus b by x minus 12 plus c by x minus 13 this type of fractions are said to be partial fractions which you may learn in secondary 2a topic a by x minus 11 plus b by x minus 12 plus c by x minus 13 using this total fraction by dividing the separate fractions these fractions are said to be partial fractions we should calculate the value a b and c separately afterwards whatever the data is given we can use a that implies we can write here 1 by x minus 11 into x minus 12 1 by x minus 11 into x minus 12 into x minus 13 1 by x minus 11 into x minus 12 into x minus 13 equal to here we can take common in denominator we can write this one as x minus 11 into x minus 12 into x minus 13 so x minus 11 here you should not take x minus 11 you can write here a into x minus 12 into x minus 13 plus b into b into x minus 12 you should not write here x minus 11 into x minus 13 plus c into here you should not write x minus 13 then you can write here x minus 11 into x minus 12 denominator will be getting cancelled using the value once you put x equal to 12 here this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 b value will be getting if you put x equal to 11 this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 you will be getting a if you put x equal to 13 this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 you will get c like that you should put the value wherever the function becomes 0 so now i am writing here put put or if we can write here put x is equal to 11 everything in lhs is 1 1 is equal to therefore i am writing therefore 1 is equal to here a into 11 minus 12 minus 1 and 11 minus 13 minus 2 so 2a therefore a is equal to 1 by 2 we got using the partial fraction we got the value a is equal to 1 by 2 next i am writing if x is equal to 12 then x is equal to 12 it becomes this is 0 and this is 0 b you will be getting 1 is equal to b into 12 minus 11 is 1 and 12 minus 13 is minus 1 therefore b is equal to minus 1 we got this is 12 minus 11 and 12 minus 13 next we, we can write here if x is equal to 13 if x is equal to 13 when x is equal to 13 this becomes 0 this becomes 0 c will be getting 2 into 1 so 2c i am writing here 2c is equal to 1 therefore c is equal to 1 by 2 let this is be first equation we can write here from 1 no need to write from 1 because already partial fraction we, we got now whatever the question he given we should write on a shell whatever the question he given and what we should calculate volume of parallel of bifid whose edges and sides volume of to find i am writing here to find volume to find volume of parallel of bifid the value volume of parallel of pipe V the formula volume of parallel of pipe V equal to box A B C where the vectors A small a he given the years A I capital A I A I plus B J plus 2 C K A I plus B J plus 2 C K that is equal to what is A here we got the value a as 1 by 2. So whenever we substituted 11, here 11 minus 12 and 11 minus 13. So here 1 by 2 into i bar plus what is the value of b? 
minus j and 2c. So 2c means well, this is k. We can take here 1 by 2 common and you can write here i minus 2j plus 2k. i minus 2j plus 2k. Let the small a be like it. Next small b. Small b he given as 2a i minus bj. 2a i minus bj. That is the small b. What is the value of a we got here? 2a means 1. So i minus bj. b means minus 1. So it is plus 1. bj. Next c bar. c bar he given as c bar he given as the vector i minus 3bj plus 4cq i minus 3bj plus 4ck i minus 3bj plus 4ck so c bar is equal to i minus 3bj b means minus 1 here it is 3j plus 4ck 4c means 2c is, 2C is equal to 1 4c is equal to 2, 2k using these total values you can calculate the volume of parallel pipe 1 by 2 into box abc the value now we got here 1 minus 2 and 2. This is B. What is the value of B? 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. The value of C, 1, 3, 2. Using determinant, 1 by 2 into here 1 into 1 into 2 minus of minus plus 2 into 2 plus 2 into 3 minus 1, 2. So 2 plus, so 2 you can get cancelled totally. Here you can write 1 plus 2 plus 2. So the value of the volume of parallel pipe is 5. Whenever volume he given, you should write it 1 into cubic units. So 5 cubic units is the volume. Here it is first option. Let us discuss about 16th question. Dear students, you can understand that somewhat mistake is there in 16th question. Whether it is print mistake or the data mistake, we should calculate, we should verify after calculating the sum. Next, the data he given, whatever the data he given, what we should find out in question, read the question carefully. Sixteenth one, A bar is equal to, A bar is equal to alpha 1 I bar plus, A bar equal to alpha 1 I bar plus alpha 2 J bar alpha 2 j bar plus alpha 3 k bar. So here alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 are scalars. Alpha 1 i plus alpha 2 j plus alpha 3 k. That is the vector a bar. b bar is equal to beta 1 i plus beta 2 j. Beta 1 i plus beta 2 j plus beta 3 k. Beta 3 k. And c bar is equal to C bar equal to gamma 1 i plus gamma 2 j plus gamma 3 k. Gamma 1 i plus gamma 2 j plus gamma 3 k bar. That is the vector C bar. And mod A bar he given the magnitude of vector is 2 root 2. Mod A bar equal to 2 root 2. A bar makes angle pi by 3 with the plane of B bar and C bar. Given condition I am writing here. What is the angle between A bar and the plane of B and C meaning itself is A bar comma B cross C. So the vector, the plane makes an angle, A bar makes an angle, pi by 3 with the plane of B, B bar comma C bar meaning B cross C and A angle between A bar and B cross C is equal to pi by 3 degrees, pi by 3 radians. Next one. Next data also he given the angle between BC is also, this is the given vector and also he given as B bar gamma C bar is pi by 6. B bar gamma C bar is pi by 6. Then find this, this is the given data. You should calculate the value of determinant of alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. Alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3, whole power n is equal to dash. Here n is the even natural number he given. We can take n as 2, otherwise direct also we can do. Then what is the value of 
आल्फा वन आल्फा टू आल्फा थ्री बीटा वन बीटा टू बीटा थ्री गामा वन गाटो गामा टू गामा थ्री मेनिंग इट्स सेल्फ इज टू फाइंड आउट वी शुड कैलकुलेट टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू बॉक्स ए बी सी गोल पावर एम बॉक्स ए बी सी गोल पावर एम सो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ बॉक्स ए बी सी गोल पावर एम बॉक्स ए बी सी इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ स्केलर सो वी कैन टेक दैट द वैल्यू you can write modulus of wherever the value he given in which way he given in that way we should take the values a bar comma b cross c so you can consider here b b and c angle he given as pi by 6 and a bar comma b cross c he given as pi by 3 so now we should discuss about this one as modulus of a into modulus of b into using the dot product concept you can write here cos of a bar comma b bar total modulus also so you can write whole power m also so what is the value of modulus of a e given here this one as 2 root 2 modulus m and uh, what is the value of modulus of b cross c modulus of b cross c meaning mod b into mod c into sin of b comma c and uh, what is the value of e given the value cos of a bar cross a bar comma b cross c the angle between cos of a bar comma b cross c is given as pi by 3 so that is equal to here i am writing this one as 2 root 2 2 root 2 into mod b into mod c into sin bc given the value sin bc here means sin pi by 6 sin pi by 6 into cos pi by 3 that is equal to 2 root 2 Two root whole power n also whatever the question he asks we should write this is also whole power n we should write for this one also whole power n. two root two into mod b into mod c into sin thirty value is one by two and cos sixty value also one by two so here you can write one by two into one by two according to angle two and two will be getting cancel whole power n you write. This root two becomes uh, will be dividing in this two as root two times. You can say here mod b into mod c whole by root two whole power n. Some word mistake is there in question. Whether the question is wrong or the answer is wrong, you should change the question. He given as sixteenth question fourth option, but in denominator he given root three. It is wrong. If it is two, it is correct. Next, let us discuss about seventeenth question. Sixteen completed. 17 क्वेश्चन a बार इज इक्वल टू i प्लस j प्लस k a बार इज इक्वल टू i प्लस j प्लस k द वेक्टर्स a b c हियर थ्री वेक्टर्स ही गिवन 17th वन a बार इज इक्वल टू i प्लस j प्लस k i प्लस j प्लस k एंड b बार इज इक्वल B bar is equal to 2i plus k. Next, C bar is equal. To, C bar is equal to i bar plus 2j bar plus 3k bar. Then the ascending order of according to options. What is the ascending order? You should calculate a cross b here. Box a cross b, b cross a, c cross b, b cross c cross a. I said in previous class plenty of times that the important formula box A B A cross B B cross A C cross A जिकर A B box A B C कोल्ड स्क्वेयर। We should calculate A B C D in the ascending order means small to big the value we should verify. First of all we need to calculate the determinant of the given vector. See here this is one one one. And here two zero one and one two three. Let us calculate the determinant. So one into zero minus two. This is minus two and minus one into six minus one. This is five plus one into four. So minus four minus two minus five minus seven plus four minus three. Here modulus of a cross b box a b c whole square we need. So minus three whole square is nine. I am writing here the a value nine we got here. Like that for b, c, d also we can calculate b. What is the value of b? 
box a plus b b plus c c plus a box a plus b box a plus b b plus c c plus a in the cross product of vectors or scalar triple product of vectors in level 1 we discussed that this can be written as 2 box a b c otherwise by calculate determinant also you may get the value 2 box a b c so 2 into whatever the box a b c we got minus 3 so minus 6 is also i am writing here b is minus 6 so next let us discuss about c c he given as box a b c box a b c into box a dash b dash c dash we know that a dash b dash c dash are the reciprocal system of a bar b bar c bar respectively a dash can be tried to understand as b cross a b box a b c this one as c cross a b box a b c and this one as a cross b b box a b c so we know that the always you take any vector or scalar or anything box a b c into box a dash b dash c dash is 1 no need to calculate about determinant also so c value is 1 here next let us discuss about d so whatever the d value is there d is box a minus c box a minus b here. box a minus b b minus c c minus a box a minus b b minus c c minus a you take the a b c common because all minus are there you may get the value it becomes zero i think we discussed previously otherwise you do like this i am giving work to you 1 minus 1 0 here 0 1 0 1 minus 1 and here minus 1 and 0 and 1 you may get the value 0 so whatever the value he asked ascending order ascending order ascending order means small to big what is small here minus 6 b letter d letter b this is b minus 6 next to 0 d later the value c because it is 1 ok b d c a b d c a is the second option here next let us discuss about 18th question 18th question 18th question the data he did not do properly but we should consider according to our convenience regarding magnitude of the vectors so 18th one 18th one a bar b bar c bar is position vector of the points a b c o a is equal to a bar and o b is equal to b bar and o c is equal to c bar are the position vectors of a b c and alpha beta gamma be the inclination this is the important also given the vectors also given this one as alpha beta beta gamma alpha beta gamma be the inclinations between b bar and c bar b gamma c angle is alpha next a comma b e angle is beta and a comma c a comma c angle is gamma general notation a b angle alpha b c angle beta a c angle gamma but just he changed b c angle alpha and a b angle beta and a c angle gamma it's ok if the inclinations he given if the volume of tetrahedron o a b c b then he is asking volume of tetrahedron what is the volume of tetrahedron the formula previously we have discussed about volume of rectangular parallel of pipe formula box a b c here volume of tetrahedron this is another formula volume of tetrahedron equal to 1 by 6 box a b c according to options for every option 1 by 36 is there for every option 1 by 36 is there that is why you should try to understand that we should calculate the value v square now i am writing v square now v square so what is the value we should calculate v square v square is equal to 1 by 36 into what is the value of box a b c box a b c whole square here not direct box a b c box a b c whole square that is equal to here v square i am writing 
V square is equal to 1 by 36 into the notation of box ABC whole square. I said that A bar dot B bar, A bar dot B bar, A bar dot C bar. Here A bar dot B bar next to, I mean B bar dot A bar. Here B bar dot B bar, B bar dot C bar. B bar dot A bar, you can write A bar dot B bar also because dot product is commutative. So C dot A here. Next C dot B here. C dot C. This is the notation of box ABC for the square. That is equal to I am writing. You should write on the hand slowly. The A bar A bar becomes mod A square. Simply leave the vector like this. A bar A bar. Because A A are same vectors. Then angle between two vectors is zero. Cos zero value one. So no need to write. Simply leave the value A dot A. Here also B dot B you can leave, here also C dot C you can leave. Now this one you can written as mod A into mod B into whatever the angle he given between A B here beta. So mod A into mod B into cos beta. Here mod A into mod C into cos of the angle between A comma C he given as gamma. Now this one also you can write here mod A into mod B into angle between A bar is beta. You don't write here, simply leave like this, B dot B. And B dot C you can write here mod B into mod C into, what is the angle between B comma C, he given alpha. Now, what is the value of C here, C dot A meaning mod C into mod A into the angle between C dot A is gamma, cos gamma. Next mod C into mod B into B, C, R, C, V same in the dot product concept. So you can write here mod C into mod B into cos alpha. You leave like this mod C into mod C. Now according to options, whatever the given value, he did not give, he given nothing. So we should try to understand that the magnitude of the vector is A bar according to options I am saying. Now you can take take common, I am writing here also, take common, take common A bar, B bar, C bar, A bar here in this one, A bar in row 1, B bar in row 2, C bar in row 3, A bar, B bar, C bar, in I am writing here R1, R2, R3 respectively, R1, R2, R3 respectively you write taking common. Now you can write here A bar, B bar, C bar whole by 36 into leave here A bar into here you can write mod B cos beta and you can write here mod C cos gamma. Next you can write here mod B cos beta and simple B and here this one B you have taken common it becomes here C cos gamma. And here C we have taken common, you can write mod A cos gamma and mod B cos alpha and here simply mod C. Now also taking common I am writing. Also taking common. According to options only thing, he not mentioned about the magnitude. Also taking common A bar, B bar, C bar. In total column I am saying. So, A bar, B bar, C bar whole square. A bar, B bar, C bar whole square by 36. Now here you write 1. 1. Here you write 1. Here you write cos beta. Here you write cos gamma. 1 cos beta, cos gamma. Next cos beta. Into next 1. Next cos gamma. Cos gamma. Next you can write here cos gamma. Next you can write cos alpha, next one, okay, that's all. So, V square, V square I am writing as, you can write here, V square is A square, V square, C square by 36. One, C beta I am writing, means cos gamma. C beta, C gamma, C beta, one, C gamma, maybe alpha is also, this is alpha. Cos beta, this is gamma, gamma, this is alpha, alpha, okay. C gamma, this one, C alpha and one. So, according to option now, we got the first option. 
cos gamma. Here also cos alpha he given. Yes, we got cos alpha. Here in second one mistaken. Here cos alpha you should write. And here also cos alpha you should write. Here C means cos I am writing alpha. A square, B square, C square with 36. 1 cos beta cos gamma, cos beta 1 cos alpha, cos gamma, cos alpha 1. 18 questions completed. Let us discuss about 19 question which is the last question of this chapter. 11.3, 19th question. Level 3, 19th question. U bar, V bar, W bar are non-coplanar vectors. And P, Q are real numbers. Then the equality. 3 U bar. 3 U bar, P, V bar. 3 U bar, P, V bar, P, W bar. This is a box. Minus P, V bar, W bar, Q U bar minus 2 W bar Q V bar Q U bar equal to 0 holds holds according to option what it holds this is the last sum I am discussing this is the last sum so 2 3 U P V P W here you can take 3 and U V W he said that non coplanar vectors. Whenever he said that non coplanar vectors, you should try to understand the concept of I J K. This is I regarding X axis, this is J regarding Y axis, and this is K. So I J K are unit vectors along X Y Z axis respectively in the same manner U V W will be taken. So 3 U P V P W is there. U V W I am taking common. U bar, V bar, W bar. U bar, V bar, W bar with box I have taken common. Then you can write here 3 P square. 3P square minus. Here you can write students U V W. If you take in this side here two, two steps jump. So no need to write minus here P Q. It is okay. Now here to U V W. So you take here but W and V. You should change once again. Whenever you change two times. So minus becomes here U here. If you get the value, if you write the value U here, it becomes U W V minus is like that. And you should again change as you get to U V W. So minus becomes a plus here. So you can write here 2 Q square is not there. 2 Q. Uh, square is there because this is 2, 2 q are there, 2 q square equal to 0 equal. We know that if two vectors or two numbers the product is 0, either first one is 0 or second one is 0. He given that u, v, w are non coplanar vectors by condition I am writing. By condition we have. By condition we have box U V W not equal to zero. Therefore, this one should be equal to zero because it even non coplanar vector. I J K always box is one. Therefore, I am writing here three P square, three P square minus P Q plus two Q square equal to zero. We do one thing divide by Q square. Divide by Q square I am writing. So you can write here 3 by Q, 3 P by Q whole square. Minus P by Q, minus P by Q plus 2 equal to 0 by right here. This is 2, not Q. This is 2. So 3 by square I am writing. 3 by square. 3 by square minus Y. Let, let I am writing here. Y is equal to P by Q. 3y square minus y plus 2 equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation we got. Now let us calculate about the value or roots of this equation. Let us discuss about discriminant delta. Delta formula b square minus 4ac 1 minus 4 into 3 into 2. 1 minus 4 to the 12 by 2 to the 24. This is minus 23. This is less than 0. 
whenever less than zero, we can write here y has no real root. Y has no real root. Then what becomes y? We have changed as p by q. Therefore, for this term writing, if there is no real root, if you can substitute here a zero here for one I am writing, this one, one, three p square minus p q, three p square minus p q plus two q square equal to zero. The equation when we converted into y, we did not get the value in real roots. So, we can conclude that there is no proper solution. Hence, we can say that P is equal to 0 and Q is equal to 0 are only roots. P equal to 0 is a root and Q is equal to 0 is a root. If you are having any doubt, then you can verify here, put P0 and put Q0, you will be getting the answer. So, we can say that according to options here, exactly one value, the value is exactly, exactly one value I am writing, exactly one value of P comma Q. So, according to here, third option. Okay, students, we have completed the chapter, scalar triple product of the vectors. Let us meet in the topic, vector triple product of vectors later. Okay.